Hey class, this is Mr. Schmidt with a recap of our storm time from January 13th. Um, so storm time is just a question and answer session, which uh, brought a lot of different issues uh, from different classes. And I know some people had to leave um, because I went over time fifth period. Um, so first of all, um, this is the key to uh, the P23 uh, assignment. Okay, so that is the key. Um, that's also now posted. Um, you can check that on slide. Okay, next up, um, third period asked about the dart and the block test question. Okay, we went over the whole solution. I've gone over this solution on YouTube before. The key thing I wanna point out going into our quiz coming up is that we have to be able to do this. We have to take energy initial equals energy final, okay? In this case, most elements canceled out, but if we had a t-shirt cannon or a tennis racket or something with some springiness to it, we would have to take that into account of both initially and finally, okay? So again, this shows the process for the dart and the block question um, on the test. Okay, um, and then um, fifth period asked about having problems with um, projectile motion. Okay, projectile motion will not be on the test this week, um, but it will absolutely be on the final exam this month. Okay, so to kind of feed some information that we could use on this week's test. Um, I made it a t-shirt cannon where we have a spring being loaded and then it gets launched and then we find its displacement. So originally um, when I asked the question, I did not give this velocity. I said, we push the spring back 0.8. It has a spring constant, which is fairly high and it shoots uh, a very heavy shirt, okay? The height at the top of the ramp is three meters, okay? Which is different than the height at the bottom of the ramp, which is one of the first things I'm gonna calculate when I do this, okay? So you can find the energy here and then find the energy here. Uh, if you needed to, you could find energy at other points, although that's not as uh, necessary, okay? So this is gonna go into a very complicated setup here as we look at this picture. Okay, so we have the energy at when the spring is compressed, the energy when the spring is released, and then maybe we have to find some energy at some other point. I didn't know when I started my problem, so I'm just like, well, we'll just see what we know, but we know energy is gonna be conserved, okay? All right, so we push the T-shirt down the ramp, so it goes down 0.27, okay? So now it's height above the floor, is 2.73, okay? When it gets to the top of the ramp, it's gonna be back to a height of three meters. Okay, that's gonna be important as we get over here. All right, so we have our energy from the spring, our kinetic energy and potential energy. Okay, again, spring, potential, gravitational, okay? So with these points, we can now start identifying some zeros, all right, it starts at rest. It ends with the spring completely released. They are both above ground. Originally I'm like, oh, I'll make this zero, but then I had to take into account the fact that it's gonna cover the ground. You could set this at zero height um, and then kind of rewrite the question halfway through, okay? So now we have the energy of the spring. We have the energy from its potential at the bottom of the ramp that's still part way up the cliff, okay? That combines give us our total energy it starts with. Now we set that equal to the kinetic energy at the top of the ramp and the, the gravitational potential at the top of the ramp, okay? What we don't know and what we're looking for in this whole process is what is the velocity and the muzzle velocity as it leaves the t-shirt cannon. Okay, and then um, 
it of course has potential because they're they're up shooting the cannon up high. Okay, so that one's easy to solve for. We know this one, so we can subtract these to get how much energy is left over in the kinetic. Okay, and then we can find the velocity that leaves this process. So now we're back to here. Now we finally have this number, and we can. Um, go on to the next step. So again, this is the type of question we're going to ask on the test. This is the question that can come back on the final. Okay, so now let's finish this. How are we going to find where this lands? So from there, where's my next page? There it is. Okay, so from there, now we have the velocity. Okay, I'm gonna split that into my y and my x velocity. Okay, I now know the height at the top of the ramp. Okay, um, when I said the question to the class, I said this is three meters at the top. You're gonna to have to very carefully read the diagrams and the question to say whether this was three, and I add 2.7 or 0.27 here, or whether this was three, and there's some other number here, okay? Um, so I said the top of the cliff, the top that leaves the t-shirt can was three meters, okay? We have our velocity um, and our, X, our y and our x's. I know I'm going to use the quadratic formula, okay? Um, I also suggested to the class that they have not already done so, and you have a TI calculator, you should be able to load or access or program um, the quadratic formula into your calculator so you don't have to keep typing it over and over again, okay? Um, this is not an Algebra 1 class, this is um, physics. So I want to see, can you do this? Your calculator can do this, okay? So that gives us our hint here. We're gonna solve for the Y components of all of these, my acceleration in the Y, my velocity in the Y, my height, in the Y. Notice this is goes upward, this goes upward, acceleration goes downward. So I plug the my A, B, and C in, and I get my time. Okay, and then I now have my time and my velocity in the X. Okay, exact same formula, but now this time instead of in the Y with all these different numbers, I'm now in the X and all sorts of things start dropping off. And I get a very simple formula, okay? So I have my velocity in my x, my time in my x, and this would be how far the t-shirt goes, which is pretty close to about 20 yards. So that's a pretty good t-shirt can in there, especially for how heavy I made my t-shirts, okay? So hopefully that gives you a few ideas to think about going into um, reviewing for the quiz and those of you who look all the way back during the finals. All right, and with that, have a good day uh, and good luck on everything you're trying to accomplish.